Hi, my name is Lizzie, and yeah, I missed a couple days, but it's been busy. Had a holiday party for my office, so I was getting a lot of work done in preparation for that. Um, but we're back, and we're doing something that Lauren suggested in my comments, which is a book tour of the books that I have on this bookshelf. I also have some other books in the cabinet over there, and I'll show you those too. So she was basically like, I want to see what else you have besides obviously Harry Potter and Game of Thrones, because those are very visibly like notable. Obviously, this is all my Harry Potter books, and I have The Cursed Child here. And then I have a uh, Fantastic Beasts screenplay. I think James got this for mm -hmm. me for Christmas one year. So all my Harry Potter stuff is right here, very visible. And then Game of Thrones is up here. I've only read the first one and I didn't even finish that. So it's a, it's a long journey, me finishing that. I feel like I have to do audiobooks for it because it's, it's just a lot. I was reading it when the practical folks were doing their book club and it was like kind of easy to keep up, but even then I got left behind. So they're like hard to read. It's just a lot of information. So maybe one day I'll come back to them and finish it. So just like starting from the top, I have the Uglies Pretties Specials Extras series. And that was like my favorite series uh, as a young adult, Scott Westerfeld is who uh, is the author. And so after I read those, like he was my favorite author. I read everything else that he had. Um, yep. No Felix. Every time. So Scott Westerfeld was like my favorite author just from that series. It's like about, it's like this futuristic, it was like all the young adult books that were coming out around that time, like Hunger Games and not really Twilight, but like it's a futuristic, like dystopian world. And like they have like cam, like, um, interfaces in their eyeballs and like it was so cool i love that series still to this day love it um and then next we have this megan kelly book so here here's the thing. <laughs> so long story short i got that book uh, at a secret santa from work and i don't and the person who got it for me obviously did not know me at all because i don't I didn't know who that was at the time, and I'm not really interested in that person. So I left it at a friend's house in Texas, just trying to get rid of it. And then for my birthday the next year, my friend Claire, who I work with, bought me the book again. So I can't get rid of it, and now it's just become a focal point of my bookshelf, I guess. Next is James's book, actually. It's the, the Silmarillion, which is the... Lord of the Rings Bible. Kind it's like of. all the lore. Yeah. It's like the gods and the stuff. The lore of the world. <laughs> that, that, you just read the back of the book. Next is Miranda Singh's uh, self health book. And, you know, I, I have a couple of YouTuber books. Actually, it depends on what you consider YouTuber. I only have a couple. Anyways, uh, then I have Game of Thrones. Then I have Esther Earl's The Star Won't Go Out book. So this girl was like a big part of the Vlogbrothers community. She had cancer and um, became like close friends with John Green. And um, ultimately she passed away. And they put a, a book together with like stories about her, her journal. And they surrounded a foundation called The Star Won't Go Out. So had to buy that book. And it's great. And it's very ugh, emotional. And the next I have Pride and Prejudice. So I got Pride and Prejudice because my son, he only does this whenever I'm recording a video. So I got Pride and Prejudice because I didn't have to read it in school. And I was in high school and I was like, you know, I'm gonna read one of these classic books for fun because I am cultured and different and not like other girls. So I got Pride and Prejudice, read it, and actually really loved it. And this was like right after the Lizzie Bennet Diaries had come out and I was obsessed with those. So, um, that's why I have Pride and Prejudice. Uh, the next book is Bo Burnham's Egghead, a poetry book. And my friend, um, Brogan got that for me for my birthday. And it's great. Bo Burnham's my favorite comedian. I was so excited to get that and I love it. Next is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Of course, gotta have that. I went to The Fault in Our Stars tour and that's the first time I met John and Hank. That was like the first time I had ever met a YouTuber in real life. I went to their tour in Houston with my friend Tanner. And it was like the first time I was ever around like nerd fighters or like a YouTube community of any kind. And I was like, this is crazy. Like all these people know about John and Hank Green. Nobody that I know knows John and Hank Green. So that was really fun. And I think this one's signed. There you go, Fall Night Stars tour, Houston. I think John and Hank both signed this. Yep, there you go. 
John Green and a Hankler fish. <laughs> Circa 2012. 2011, 2012. Somewhere around there. And then next I have Carrie Fisher's book, which I haven't actually read yet. I just bought it because I know everyone was talking about it. And I think I got it when we went to that bookstore mm-hmm. in Portland. Powell's. Powell's. It's like a really famous bookstore. Um, yeah, I just need to read it. You know what? I'm actually going to leave this one out so that I start to read it. Star Wars is ending, you know, it's kind of all goes together. Then I have all my Harry Potter books and I have the Shiloh collection. So I grew up with two beagles, Cody and Chrissy. And so I loved beagles. I loved anything that had to do with beagles. Still do to this day. They're my favorite dog. And Shiloh is just like a children's book. If there's three of them in here. So this is the Shiloh collection. It's got three books in this one thing. And I just, oh, I love this. I love the movie too. Okay, I wanna do the next point. Okay, I was about to say, there's a couple things in here. Yeah. That are James's, so. Arguably the most important book on this shelf. The official Pokemon handbook by Maria S. Barba. Uh, everything you need to know about the first 151 Pokemon, right here. Like, who do you wanna know about, Lizzie? Um, um, the gas guy, get the gas Gasly? bubble. Gasly? Gasly? Let's see here. Where's Gasly at? 90 something? 92, yeah, yeah, yeah. 92. Gasly and Haunter are part of a trio of poisonous ghost Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's four foot three. So it's a big, it's a big ball of it gas. It is a big ball of gas. But it only weighs 0. 0.2 pounds. Oh, because he's gas. Because he's ghost. Yeah. That's the most important book on the shelf. Okay, mm, well. Depends on who you ask. If you ask you, then yes. If you ask me, then no. If you ask anybody else, though, yes. No. <laughs> okay, then we have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. James also got this for me. Yes. And we have not made one thing from it. Nope. But maybe we will this month. Oh, who knows? But I don't know. Uh, then next we have Watchmen, which is also James's. I've never read or watched the new show. I know nothing about this, except for there's a guy called Dr. Manhattan. You almost didn't even know that. Um, yeah. He's blue. Yes. That's what I do. <laughs> okay, and then this, I actually made a video reading a story from this, mm-hmm. right? Okay, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I forget everything that I do. Um, <laughs> I've had this book like for a long time. I don't think that this was really like read to me as like a child, but I definitely got it when I was younger because my mom wrote my name in it and it says Elizabeth, so. This was before at least fourth grade because I started going by Lizzie then. Just got like a bunch of um, the classic stories, pictures and like shortened versions of their stories from the movies. Next we have Grace's book, Grace Helbig, Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown Up. Remember when she had brown hair? That was weird. I'll be honest, I haven't read it. Oh, fake fan, I read it. But she did sign it. So when we yeah. met her for the first time. Yeah, so... Well, when I met her. So she's... There, there's two up here, right? Uh, I think the other one is... Oh, yeah, the other one's over, over there. there. She sent James one in the mail. Yeah. He, like, got that PR list. Yeah. Grace's Guide release. That was pretty crazy. This is here for no reason. Um, no reason? It has Solo on it. I actually don't know where that came from. Yeah, it was trash. <laughs> I don't know what. Why is it there? Okay, this that, one is that good. one is good. This is like a solid one. Yeah, I think I actually got that. Like I bought it. Yeah. So that's just a magazine, and then this book James made after our trip to New York City. This was a Christmas present as well. You got me a lot of books over the years. I want you to be well read. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I like, this is my favorite book to read. <laughs> There's no words. So this is just all pictures from our trip. Very fun, very wow. cute. And now we have another po- uh, cookbook that James also bought me, <laughs> right? Yes. Are you trying to tell me something? You're trying to say I need to cook more? Um... Just cause I'm the woman in this relationship, you think all you could give me is cookbooks? Yes. You're right. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> oh. And oh. that's what I think about that. <laughs> no, I really love this. Uh, we did make something we from did, this. Yes. We made it a video, right? Or was it an Instagram live? I don't know. Insta- I don't know. May- I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is the Girls Life magazine that Shannon is published in. Our published author, BFF. There she is. Look at our girl. 
We know her. We know her. Okay, and then we have this. Yes. Junk. Excuse me. <laughs> it's a Final Fantasy game, guys. Final Fantasy Twelve. This was po quite possibly my favorite game from my childhood. So. We don't you do it. Toss it. Don't you do it. <laughs> oh, okay. So then we have our collection of D D23 membership magazines that we've been getting since we are now members. And then we have this Mary Poppins Returns book, Practically Poppins in Every Way, written by Jeff Curti, who um, we met and got to go on like a crazy tour. We got to go to Walt Apartment at Disneyland, and it was just insane. So he signed these. And we have two of them because he addressed them to both of us. And we don't really need two, but we have two. And those are our These vinyls. are our two vinyl records. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Poppins Returns, which we got for free at that thing. And then the Guardians uh, soundtrack that I bought with the record player <laughs> like three years we ago. We might get a third one at some point. Maybe. Okay, and then over here in this cabinet, we have all of our board games and books very poorly organized. So... And then the most important one in here, not even a book, it's a binder full of Pokemon cards. <laughs> now you can learn anything you want about the Pokemon cards on their cards. Cool. <laughs> okay, so this is a yearbook. This is James's Pokemon cards yearbook. This is a Bluebell ice cream book that my friend Kaylee got me. This is like a, a Texan ice cream that is the best ice cream ever. I really don't like any other ice cream except for Bluebell. And so this is all about like its creation and you know, like the history of it. The yearbook, a yearbook, a program from when, from UIL. If you're from Texas, you know what this is. Another like theater picture book thing. Uh, this like coffee table book of uh, Audrey Hepburn because I was like obsessed with her. So it's just like a bunch of pictures of Audrey Hepburn. Another yearbook, yearbook, yearbook. Now this one is actually from like my baby, baby childhood and maybe even before that. And like, you can tell because of how old it is. The pages are like yellowed. This is also a book from my childhood. I wrote my name in it. <laughs> This is also a book from my childhood. It's like very religious, so <laughs> it's very indicative of my childhood in 2001. This is a Rugrats book. It's just like that other Disney storybook, but about Rugrats. This is, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, well I chipped my nail pulling these books out, so I hope this is worth it. And then this is something. Oh, someone gave this to me. I think Tiffany gave it to me. It's a Beauty and the Beast like on Broadway coffee table book kind of thing with pictures and stories. Uh, this is J.K. Rowling's other book. I think I started reading it and I didn't like it. So, haven't read that. This is like a James book about filmmaking. This is a really good series that I love called Pandemonium, Delirium, and Requiem. And I don't remember which one is the first one, but I did meet the author at Barnes and Noble in Houston and she signed it. Oh, here we go. So I think this is either the second or the third one. And I remember telling her, I was like, I can't believe you did that. Like at the end, I can't believe it. I was so stressed out. And so she wrote to Lizzie, sorry about the ending. You are the cutest. Stay fab. Lauren Oliver. Then another book of, uh, that James is viewers gave to him mm -hmm. at VidCon. Of at VidCon um, pizza recipes. See, I also received cookbooks. Yeah, that's true. A VidCon program from 2013. Huh. Another theater program of mine. This is actually a script to a play that I did in junior high. Lizzie jumps. There's my lines and my blocking written out. Very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, this is the book that I read. <laughs> is this yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. Live life off the leash. Beauty is in the eye of the treat holder. <laughs> I like how my books have been Pokemon, Pokemon cards, 
Lord of the Rings. Pizza recipes. Pizza recipes. Dog book. And a dog book. <laughs> this is a book that I loved. I wrote this, clearly. Oh, look, another Pokemon book. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh, that's a buyer's guide from, like, 99. This is Let It Snow. The Netflix movie just came out. I read this, like, when it came out in, like, 2010, 2011. Thought it was cute. Liked it. Got it because John Green helped write it, so. Um, and Frank's Diary. <laughs> For a light read. Yeah. I think I bought this at a Scholastic Book Fair, which is why there's a stamp in it. And I just, I was obsessed with learning about Anne Frank. I thought it was so interesting. And I loved, still do love anything that has to do with Anne Frank. Oh yeah, that's mine. This is yours. Yeah. This is an actual book. I know. Are you sure this is yours? <laughs> 100%. It's really good. I can't remember, like, anything that happens in it because it's been so long. I should read it again. This is, um, not my book. This is, uh, Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms, and I borrowed this from my friend Carter in Austin, and never gave it back to him. So, Carter, if you see this, I still have your book, and I will keep it forever. <laughs> and I haven't read it. Wow. <laughs> this is another copy of The Fallen Our Stars that's also signed. But we, like, bought it at Barnes & Noble as a signed copy. Ta-da! And then we, will, we have Will Grayson, Will Grayson, another John Green book. Also, De David Levithan. I really like him. We have Looking for Alaska, John Green. The series on Hulu is so good. Highly recommend. Kind of better than the book. Oh! And then I have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Rowell? I don't know if I've ever said it. I think I read this. It's just like so long ago that I don't remember it. And also, as you'll notice, I take a lot of the like covers off of the book just because I hate how they felt. So I would just carry the books around like without the um, le leaflets. What are they called? Sleeves? The sleeves. Without the sleeves on them. And then I would just throw them away. And I think that's fine. Okay, so this is like kind of a tag along to the Ugly's Pretty Specials Extras series. An Insider's Guide to the World of Uglies, Bogus to Bubbly. I also have these two books that I just got for free at like this women in media gathering. I will never read them. And then I have Gillian Flint's Sharp Objects. I read this like a year or two ago and it is so good. I like, of course, I, I don't know. I hadn't read anything Gillian Flynn. I'd only seen the Gone Girl movie. And so I read this and I was like, whoa, I get the hype. So there you go. That's literally every book that I own. And I have a lot of uh, audio books too. So I, I don't really buy physical books that much anymore just because I don't really have time to read them. Um, I like to listen to audio books in the car, at work sometimes even. And uh, yeah, that's like my main form of absorbing books these days. It sounds like you're segueing into a sponsorship with Audible. And you can listen to audiobooks too. Audible.com slash I don't have a promo code. <laughs> so that's all I've got. Sorry I missed a couple days. It's going to happen some more on this month, I'm sure. But uh, you know what? It's all fine. I'm still making this video. So that's more than it. nothing, you know? <laughs> yep. It is more than nothing. It's more than zero. Technically speaking. It's more than nothing. <laughs> um, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!